Welcome into the program, everybody. Randy sitting alongside Seth here for Wide Side Sports. Nice. Nice. Thanks. That was that was good. Thought, a little dramatic to it, a little drama. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Was it was just a higher pitched kind of tone. Yeah, no, it was nice. Uh nice change up from what we usually do. Well, you know, I'm a sexy fella, so we're all sex appeal. Yeah. What they all say. I know. But all the f- never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna go there. Uh coming off of I, we talked about it a little bit before the show. What has to go down as the greatest weekend of NFL football ever? Probably ever. Has to be ever. I mean, there's. I can't remember two games being decided on last second field goals, let alone fucking four. Yeah. Or yeah. Not field goals, but just last second shit. Well, it kind of was, though, still last mm-hmm. second field goal because last one sent it into overtime. Yes. That, uh,. Quite unbelievable. I didn't know where you wanted to start with. I don't. Let's know just that, start with game one. Want to start, start with, with Bengals? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. We, we'll, we got some other shit to talk about too. Go ahead. We can hold that later, though. Yeah. Let's just jump yeah, into let's the game. Whatever you know. Everybody's digested it for a little bit. I, uh, you know, I, I, I Bengals know we, greatest <laughs> team you ever seen. That's what you want to say. Yeah. Um, th- they are. They have hit a stride of luck. And I think in the playoffs that you have to be both. You have to, you know. You got to be good, obviously, but you got to have that luckiness to you a little bit too to kind of go on your runs. And for them <laughs> to to not have that, to not have their offense clicking like it like it has been, and them still winning is fantastic. Number one, but number two, it's just it's not like them. You yeah, know, you're not used to hey defense field goals. You know we're going. You're used to high scoring points. You know, a lot of a lot of drama with offense, a lot of you know high energy there, and it's just been the complete opposite these last two playoff games. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. Their offense has been not good the last two games. Uh, the one thing I want to talk about, as far as the defensive game is concerned, is boy, you can really. Now, granted, Tennessee runs the ball yeah. more than anything, mm-hmm. but boy, you can tell they were missing it up the middle. Yes, started getting gashed. Yep, but on the defensive side. Ryan Tannehill getting a lot of bashing going. Now the first, I mean, the fact that you're setting a record of your first and last throw was an interception <laughs> yeah. of a game. The first throw, yeah, he hit the guy in the chest, but like people are bashing him. You can't turn the you know balls a game. Yeah, can't turn the ball over. Mm-hmm. The other two interceptions to not just to blame on him and not like act like the Bengals made plays on that ball. Yeah, the second one. I mean, the guy yeah. comes blitz and jumps up, bats yes. it. And to him. Gets I mean, it. come I mean, on. And then the, the last pick might be one of the best plays all game on the yeah. ball. I yeah. mean, he comes up underneath. He doesn't go over top. He doesn't go through the guy. Comes up underneath his arm, bats it out. Linebacker makes a hustle play to the ball, grabs it. I mean, well, and and to mention the person that made that play, mm-hmm. the biggest defensive liability the Bengals <laughs> have, yeah. And Eli Apple's the one that makes the play. I mean, the, the Titans knew that. That's why they're attacking him. It's yeah, very obvious. Why? I mean. It's uh it's about as good as sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's weird to see the Bengals have the success because we've seen them you know the last 2 3 years not be good. We haven't seen them win a playoff game in quite some time. Yeah. Um you know it, and it all goes back to just Joey Burrow just being a fucking dog. He's a dude. I I mean he his confidence level and somebody tweeted this out and I thought it was awesome. It said Joe Burrow is the Derrick Henry of quarterbacks. People hit him all game, and he, and he just gets stronger in the fourth quarter. I mean, he got sacked nine fucking times. Well, I, what I loved is after with Vrabel, is like, hey, maybe we sacked him too much. Yeah. <laughs> maybe get some turnovers instead yeah. of just sacking. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's, uh, when that, I saw that tweet, I'm like, that's awesome. I mean, he did. It just seemed like he, it didn't fucking bother him. No. He didn't get pissed off. How many young quarterbacks can say that it's not going to bother them? Like he's not going to start yelling at his offensive line. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, you see, you see, you see, Canton candidates doing that. I mean, how many times did Tom Brady turn around and yell at his guy? He gonna fucking block. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it's part of the game. It happens. It's com- it's competition, but they'd cool. Well, the thing is with the difference in the Bengals with Burrow. Obviously, they made plays to win that game. Uh huh. But obviously, being a Bengals fan. They didn't do anything. They didn't make the plays to lose the game. Yes, which is what yeah. normally happens in uh-huh. that situation. Well, has been in the in the past. You know, playoff. I almost said playoff runs, but I, 
you just say yeah. playoff appearances because I didn't. You know, like the one against the Steelers. You have that game one, then you fumble the ball, yep. and then you get the 45 yards worth of penalties. Of mm-hmm. Like, you do shit to lose. Yeah, yeah. And I like seeing them have success. You know what I mean? It's it's nice to see a change of pace in the playoffs. I You know, and that's, like, I was really wanting, you, you want certain people to win because you want, to see difference in a conference championship game. Right. You, you don't want to see the same fucking teams every year. That's why people bitch about college. Yeah. You don't want to see the guys' same team. So the, the fact that the Bengals can, are doing that and are in it is, I mean, that's why everybody's rooting for them. They don't want to see Kansas City win. Well, and the fact that comes out after the game with Evan McPherson. Yes. The rookie makes a, makes a stretch and goes, well, looks like we're going to the AFC championship and runs out on the field and nails a kick of Fantastic. like when you're kicker yeah has that kind of yeah all right yeah and you know zach taylor has done some things to you question a lot i mean yeah he makes some bonehead makes stuff. Some bonehead stuff they have the confidence for a reason he has yeah. done something his staff has done something to give them that confidence now obviously it helps when your quarterback has that confidence yeah. and can play with it and, bat- and not even have the confidence but back it up on the field but it all starts with your coaching staff. I mean, if he doesn't, he, he's going to give him confidence. If not, you're shaking in your fucking boots getting ready to make that kick. You know, you don't want to oh, fuck yeah. up. You know what I mean? So he has done something with their confidence level, with their mindset of, hey, well, you know, we can do anything. You know, anybody. I got a phone what? call. I'm sorry. Well, you're not going to put that on vibrate? What, I mean, I, I thought it was. <laughs> somebody important? And my wife. No, not. Okay. I mean, you can answer it if you need. I mean, I'll answer it. Just go ahead and answer. Well, I mean, I'd like you to be a little more professional. I am sorry. You can cut all that out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep no, it. I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> People talk about what you guys plan on having for dinner. Oh, I thought it was chicken parm, but apparently, didn't lay it apparently out. Apparently not. Yeah. Apparently, it's McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I don't know where we were, but um, Evan McPherson making the kick. Yeah, just being swinging a big cock. Uh huh. I mean. That's pretty much what it was. That's I mean, what it is. For him as to ha- a kicker yeah. and a rookie. But for him to have the confidence, though, to... I, 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 there's no way in hell anybody else has that confidence going out there. No. You don't say, if any other, you don't say a goddamn word to anybody because you don't want to jinx anything. Yeah, usually anything. it's like a no-hitter. Like, they're mm-hmm. not even talking to the yes. kicker of, like... Yep. You know, but, you know, plus, again, you say that if, like, you better goddamn make it. Because yeah. if you miss it and come up back over the sideline of, like, you're you, you going to get it. The the problem that I had with that last drive with the Titans, they had, and I, this sounds really, really bad, and it's not my mindset, but they were playing to score a touchdown. Yeah. That's what it seemed like. Like, they were throwing, like, 15 yards down the field. You take your time. I'm pretty sure they had two timeouts. They were they had over a minute left. Yeah, you have plenty of time. You, can you only hit, need 20 yards. Yeah, you can hit stuff down the middle of the field. You don't have to play the sideline game yet. And I just felt like they were. It's like we had to score a touchdown. We can't. We have to score a touchdown. It wasn't. And a lot of the times, and I know that's the mindset. We want to drive down the field, score a touchdown. If not, we'll settle for the field goal. But the, you were playing to have no time left on that clock to kick the fucking game-winning field goal. So, I don't know. I just felt like that was kind of the, the game plan. That's what it looked like for my yeah. end. Yeah, that, you know, you, yeah, you're you just marching down the field to get a closer field goal. Yes. But this, this is the end of the game. Either either we're making this field mm-hmm. goal or we're going to overtime. Either yeah. way. I mean, and, I don't know. I thought it was a risky throw anyway. It, well, it was late. It was late. And it, was, it wasn't it was to your guys. Yeah. And I know... The Bengals know who your guys are too, and I understand that. But you're you're drawing something up to get Julio the ball or AJ Brown the right. ball. Those are your only two guys that I'm throwing I'm throwing the ball to in that moment because one, I know they're going to get it, and two, I know that they're smart enough to do something with the ball when they catch it. Yeah. Well, and what it was is great play by Apple to get yes. that knocked yes, out of it there. Yes, it was. But it was a hitch late. He took an extra hitch. Should have thrown that ball as mm-hmm. he turned around, and he threw it inside, and that's an outside pass. Yep. Yeah, if he throws it on time and to the proper shoulder, we're not having this conversation because mm-hmm. they probably march down and score. Yeah, uh, Derrick Henry wise, I mean, twenty carries not enough, but when the other guy came in, yeah, he did. He I mean, did. he's rattling off yeah. yards too. So, you know, uh, 
I, I looking back at the game now, I think Henry should have played in the in the last week of the season to get get some get some game reps in. Not twenty carries, ten, but I, it just felt like it was like the first game again. Yeah, you, you sit out that long. You're not used to being hit. You're not cutting the same. Whatever you did in practice, it's still not game speed. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just felt like he needed to have those game reps. Well, I mean, then you look at it too far as the Bengals are concerned. It was two fourth downs where they stuffed Derrick Henry. Yeah. Oh. D- DJ Reader played out of his mind. Yeah. So. And so did the other guy. I mean, we thought that they were going to run all over him because, you know, your best run stopper and Ogan Joby was out. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. But, you know, it's kind of a, I mean, Burrow. You know, you get the ball back. That's a huge throw. Mm-hmm. How Jamar Chase gets that open yeah. on the sideline. <laughs> no idea. Is crazy. The, yeah. But man, was that a great throw. But it's not like Joe Burrow played great. Now, granted, he got sacked a lot. And I've seen a lot of people going, man, some of these sacks are his fault. He should have got rid of the ball. No, no, no. No. Sometimes a sack's okay. Yeah. Everybody's saying throw it away. Well, that's when you make mistakes. Mm-hmm. If you're getting sacked, take the sack. We can punt. It's not like they're scoring every time they get the ball. Yeah. But, you know, negative play-wise. I would say of the nine sacks, four or five of them were in the middle of his read. Yeah. They were, I mean, they happened yeah. at the snap. I mean, he was getting flushed. Right. Instantly. And th- and that's one of those things, too, of like, one thing with Taylor, very quick. He has yeah. a very quick trigger to stop running the ball. Mm-hmm. Like, well, we ran it three times. We only gained seven yards. So, yeah, two point <laughs> two yards carried. Not yeah. gonna get it done. So yeah. we're done. He is, and that that'll come with his time, his yeah. development as a especially coach. Especially with your offensive line sucks, but they can pat they they, they run, run block, block dot, well because run blocking is easier than yes. pass blocking, especially yes. in the NFL. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have a lot of double teams. So, you have a yeah. lot of different stuff. Yes, yeah. it is it is easier. Um, but I. Congratulations to the Bengals going to the you know conference championship yeah. game for the yeah, first we'll time. Yeah, we'll get into and, the breakdown of the next one here in a little yeah. while. So let's move on to uh, the Packers game, which was just awful. It was. It's just terrible. The boring as shit. Yeah, but I mean, it was still. It like, was exciting and boring it was exciting, at the same time. Yeah, because they did a, bu- a bunch of stuff happened in that game except yes. point scoring. Uh huh. <laughs> and. I'll go with this. Obviously, I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan. Mm-hmm. I think everybody knows that about me. Um, he gets a lot of hate. I understand that. You know. Yeah. Either way, he did not play well. Mm-hmm. But the fact that I heard so much of the, hey, we just can't blame all this on the, on the special teams. Aaron Rodgers didn't play well. I was like, well, yeah, but all their points came from your special teams. <laughs> yeah. Or, so, and non-points. And non-points. Yeah. Of that. The fact that they get the ball down, one, the fact of the hustle play to keep that from being a touchdown yeah. when he throws that and then they have to kick a field goal. Yep. The breakdown of that field goal, their wing not even locking feet yeah. with the tackle. Leaving that space. And leaving yeah. a gap. Yep. And touching no one. Yep. Of like, what are you doing? What is this? And yeah. we talked, me and you talked about it all year of like, hey, their special team's going to cost them a game. Gonna cost him a game at some point in time, and yeah. boom, there it is. Yeah, um, I'm actually kind of shocked that he hasn't been released yet of his duties of the special teams coordinator. I believe that'll be coming this yeah. next week. Yeah, I mean, he, a lot of things happened with him this today, but <laughs> what frustrated me is you, you're the Packers. You march right down the field, punch one in. Niners made some adjustments, and you didn't. You just kept doing when, the same thing. And don't even think thing. about that. Then the next possession, they're marching down the field yes. and Big Dog fumbles it on that slap yes. out. Yeah. And then it was just over. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, uh, it, I don't know. It just felt like he didn't do enough. Uh, there was no, it didn't seem like there was enough adjustments because obviously the Niners did something. Yeah. And that that's the other one that I'm not, you know, not an apologist for Aaron Rodgers should play your M- MVP mm-hmm. of the league for the second year in a row. Yeah. Be better. But the non-credit that the 49ers defense gets is weird of like, yeah, hey, you think maybe they had something to do with it? Yeah. Like they got after him. Yeah, they did. And they, their secondary, their ability to hold, mm-hmm. and I'm not talking about holding players, but hold their disguise. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they did. Because that's, the read came pre mm-hmm. 
and they were able to roll that coverage to Devontae mm-hmm. that just took him off the books. Yeah, and it was it was great. And then you got Bosa and all them. Hey, if that first, I think this is my guy, and then that coverage rolls out. Now you're on your second read. Mm-hmm. Well, now all of a sudden the defense is, is there is there on you. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was it was they made a really good adjustment, and you could tell that you could tell they had that in their back pocket. It's like, hey, if they're, if he's going to toast this early, we're just going to instantly go to that, and they did. After yeah. the, I mean, you're right. After the second drive, it's kind of when they made that switch after the fumble, and it worked for him. And it just didn't seem like they, the Packers, did much yeah. of anything else. Yeah, and, and that's and saying on the you know the special teams, mm-hmm. all the points. You know, you block a, the the field goal that their offense scored. Yeah. Well, it opened up the second half with a 50 yard return from the kickoff. Mm-hmm. People forget to remember that of like, yeah, sure, that happened. Yep. And then, you know, your center, your long snapper, which I understand they're not the greatest. I mean, he's a hell of a good long snapper. Mm hmm. Not the greatest blocker. Plus, they have a huge guy lined up on him. Yeah. Like, you got to, yeah, you know, the, the personal protector's got to make that call. Hey, Hey, the snapper's not going to be able to handle this guy. Somebody's mm-hmm. got to step up. T- yeah. But then on him, he just got bull rushed. Yep. Hey, at that point in time, just tackle the fucking guy. Yeah, take the penalty. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, you know you've taken three steps back here. Just, just grab him and fall down. Yeah. It was, uh, it was abysmal right there in that those last two three minutes. Yeah. Just, just awful. Ah, uh, man, I, it sucks because you want. I mean, we both were rooting for the Packers. We wanted yeah. to win. Yeah. Um. You know, I, I, God damn, Shanahan just, he gets a lot of credit for that, and he should. I mean, they, they, they won the game, but it was, man, D'Amico Ryan needs a little pep talk after that one, too, man. I mean, you held Aaron Rodgers to seven points. Yeah. They kicked the field goal, they get 10. Yeah. You know, they, you, the, the missed one going into half really, really. That's if, the big one. That's the big one to me, too. Because you could have felt like the game was almost over, over. at that point. Yep. You're, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like we should have had no chance to mm-hmm. score here. We're just kind of maybe running the clock out. Yep. And then boom. Yep. All right. Yeah. Just, but, just woo, that was, but it's, that's what, that's why you play the fucking game, man. <laughs> now to, to move on to this, cause there's not a lot to talk about in that game. No. Nothing happened. No. As far as Rogers goes, one, I hear a lot of this. Well, you know, we're going to talk about that cause they're the offense coordinators and yes. the head coach of your team. Yes. And everybody assumes yeah. that he's going to Denver. Uh-huh. Uh, first off, let's pump the brakes. Yeah. He's not a free agent. Not at all. It's got to be a trade. Yes. <laughs> also, Devontae Adams, not a free agent. No. He's going to get franchise tagged. Yeah. Possibly, depending on what they do, which Roger said he'll make that decision before the franchise tag date. Mm-hmm. So that's 27 days, 26 days, yeah. something like that. Yep. You know, that did that help him get the job in Denver? Yeah, but he's also maybe a good coach. Yeah, so I, I mean, also doesn't call the plays for the team he's the coach of. Yes. So let's, yeah, you know, yep. yeah. I uh, if we want to talk about that for a little bit, we can yeah, before we go on to the other ones. The, all the stuff that I read with the hiring committee and this and that was X's and O's were like the last thing on their plate because they hired the last guy because of his knowledge of X's and O's on yeah. the defensive side of the ball. They wanted a guy. Pretty much, who's a good leader, who's going to hold the locker room, who's going to make people accountable, and it seemed like he was that guy. Um, all the stuff that I've came out said so that's that's why yeah. he got the job. I don't think all of the moves that Peyton has done since he's been the GM of the Broncos, they haven't been impulse moves. They haven't been stupid. They've been thought out, well, you know, well thought out stuff. I don't think that they, they hire him thinking, oh yeah, we got Aaron. Yeah, we're going to trade for him. Yeah. I don't think that's why he got the job. I think it might have been a, hey, if this happens, maybe. Maybe. But maybe, you but got to hire gotta, the guy because yeah. at the end of the day, he's not a free agent. So Exactly. And at the end of the day, it's it's a trade. Whoever's going to make the best offer is probably getting Aaron Rodgers unless he just says, no, I'll just stay with you guys. So, I mean, what is that trade? A first round and a second round? It's, I, personally, I think it's two firsts. I could see that. I, I think it's two firsts. If you're doing first and another <laughs> pick, there's got to be a player involved in that too, I think. I don't think they want any players. I think I think, the, I think you're only going to see them get a player if it helps with their cap situation. Because why would they want a player? Well, the only reason, the only way it has, helps with their cap situation, possibly receiver departure is, if you're looking for the Broncos side of the ball, 
uh, Jerry Judy still underneath his rookie contract. That's the only way that it's going to help your cap situation. Yeah. But that that's the, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it is. Because if, if Rodgers is out, then they're in, I, I don't think they're going to tag Devontae no. and pay him $18.5 million for probably, one year. Yeah. You're probably going to let him go. So maybe that's how you do it. Maybe. Is you get a Jerry Judy. Mm-hmm. He can come up with Jordan Love. Yeah. Now on that part of it, which I, I like the hire for Denver. I believe I called that right. Yep, Obviously, I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's time for Aaron. I think he's going to stay with Green Bay. Yeah. I, I But I think it's time that they, they go their separate ways. I do, too. And I think, I think it's just time for everybody. Hey, sometimes you just need to change scenery. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that's best for everybody. All right. It's Jordan Love turn. We're not going to pay Devontae. We're going to let him go. Yeah. And we're going to, you know, we're going to start this process of the rebuild. I, I was all in. With Aaron staying, I don't believe he stays now, and I'm not going to try to predict where the hell he goes because I don't know that. It's going to be the best well, yeah, trade offer. It's going to be a trade. It's it's going to be and, that. And I, to my knowledge, he has a handshake agreement that they will send him somewhere. Yes, that he's willing to go. Yes, and and obviously, a lot I don't of think that the Packers are going to fuck he, him over on that. I, he has to restructure. Yeah, because a cap hit for him is forty eight million dollars mm-hmm. next year. So. And it's obviously it's, it's got to be somebody who can afford that. Yeah. It's got to be somebody who has enough draft capital to do that as well. Um, and I'm not going to predict. I just don't feel I, I think he kind of feels the same way. If he wasn't going to win it this year, he's not winning it with Green not Bay there. next year. And I think he's going to go a separate way. Good. The way I see it is it's time for them to go separate ways. And if if they do get rid of him mm-hmm. and, and, you know, put him somewhere that he wants to go. Yeah. He'll win another Super Bowl before he retires. I, I have that feeling too, because you're not going to send him to some place who's shit. No, you're going to send him to a quality that, team. So. Um, I don't. I don't get the feeling that he's retiring. No, 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 no. I no. mean, uh, the guy likes football too much, yeah. and, and I don't. It, I yeah, I don't feel like he's retiring at all. I. That's not his style to go out like that. No. Even if he does win the MVP, it's not his style to go out like that. I think he wants to go out. On top, I, even if it, if it, even if he lost the Super Bowl, I could see then retirement because he made it. Because you're going to make, and here's what I see happening. Not like Brett Favre, because you still remember Favre as a Packer. You forget yep. about the Jets. You forget mm-hmm. about the Vikings. Mm-hmm. But I see more like a Peyton Manning of or how Tom Brady's going to be. Yeah, he went somewhere and won another Super Bowl, and then you almost you don't remember him as a, like. You don't think of Peyton Manning as an Indianapolis Colt. No, you, you do think not. of him as a Denver Bronco. You do. That's the last place he won, mm-hmm. and it's the last uniform he wore. Yeah, I have a hard, I have a hard time thinking of Tom Brady as a Buck, even though that he won a Super Bowl there. Yeah, the Peyton thing, and obviously I'm a Broncos fan, so my mindset might be skewed. Is he didn't just go there and win a Super Bowl? The man set records, and when he was there, his five years there were not just. Blah years. He made it to one Super Bowl, made it to the conference championship game twice, three times, and then won a Super Bowl. It wasn't just a, yeah, yeah, we had some right. good record. I mean, right. he, he made a staple in those five years there. It's just, uh, I don't know. I just don't see Aaron retiring. Yeah. I don't either. And I think it's, I, I still think he's probably going to stay in Green Bay. Okay. I, I don't, but I think, I, I kind of hope he leaves because I think it's time. I don't know. I think if, it's time to just. I don't know if the Packers have enough money to keep him in Green Bay happy. Pieces around yeah. him. Is well, what yeah, because they're not. And I had this conversation today with uh, Daryl. Is I think it was him. Could have been. I talked to somebody else a couple days ago about it, but <laughs> we're going to go with that. Okay. Of the Packers are they're a franchise that wants to make the playoffs every year, mm-hmm. and they never go after it. Yeah. They just never do. Yeah. They, they cut guys early, kind of like mm-hmm. the Patriots do, but they don't ever replace them with yeah. anybody. So it's always, hey, we make the playoffs every year. We win the North. But when we got a guy, we're not going to get any, we're not going to get a free agent mm-hmm. guy. We're, nev- we're never going to bring Odell Beckham in. We're not going to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to the fact that Odell Beckham for like an extra half a million dollars would have been on yeah. Green Bay. <laughs> Green of Bay. like. Come yeah. on, guys. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, and then if you look, even look at it in smaller pieces, Corey Lindsley was an All Pro center for two years, and you just let him walk. Um, you don't need to re-sign Aaron Jones. Nope. You could have used that money to keep Lindsley, make your offensive line that much better. You have AJ Dillon. You have AJ Dillon. 
and then you draft a running back, and yeah. he it's you're doing the same shit. Your scheme they're, makes the every, running back easier. Every year they're building for the future; they never build for the now. Yep. Whereas you see other they, and, and like you see that when Tom Brady goes to Tampa Bay, how mm-hmm. it's like all of a sudden, yeah, Antonio Brown comes in, Rod mm-hmm. Kowski comes in, of you know it's boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 yeah. Leonard Fournette, you know, I, like, I wherever he goes. I feel like that's going to happen next. Yeah. You're gonna, I mean, because Tom only has another year. I don't think Tom retires, but I think he only has oh, another I year. Think we're, we're on opposite sides of that one. Okay. Let's just say Aaron goes to... Tampa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's say Aaron goes to... Let's just call it Denver. Yeah, sure. You're going to see people sign with Denver. Because they want to play... Yeah. I mean, if he gets traded to Pittsburgh, you're going to want to yeah. go see people play in, in Pittsburgh. Wherever he gets traded... People are going to, I mean, you're using him as your recruitment now. And, I mean, it, Tom Brady had the effect. Peyton Manning had the effect. How much, how many, how much defensive talent did Denver sign in those yeah. years there because of Peyton Manning? I mean, right. I, it, two of them are Hall of Famers now. That, I mean, yeah. Marcus Ware just got voted in. You know, I mean, it's a, it, it's the player and it's the location. And I, and I understand that part of it too. Maybe people don't want to go fucking play in Green Bay. I don't know. But, well, I think people want to play for a winner. Yeah. And I think a lot of that just came down to Green Bay's never going to one. They're not going to pay for anybody to come there. And they're, they're just it's, you know, like him saying, I don't want to be part of a rebuild of like, hey, man, it's almost been a rebuild the whole time you're, you've been yeah. there. You had the you, Hall of Fame quarterback play for 30 years and you have two Super Bowls. Yeah. Think about that I, shit. I know. It. Well, th- <laughs> you have that. And the guy who just retired today has that same amount of Super Bowls in his career. Yeah. Ben has that many Super Bowls yeah. in his in his 18 seasons as you guys do in your 30 years. Yeah. And, and you know, I know we're jumping around a little yeah. bit. We still got two more games to cover. But Ben, you know, now that conversation, I heard that a little bit over here of like, well, you know, Hall of Fame is like, yeah, it's no doubt. No it's doubt. first ballot. It's first not ballot. even, what are we? Yeah. But yeah, I understand that'll be a topic that goes over the summer because once you know nobody gives a shit about basketball and yeah. baseball i don't know if that's still a sport or not yeah. but yeah it's he's going to talk about it's his first ballot and it's no question yeah i, I, I mean I, some some uh steelers twitter page said tom you better not retire this year cuz it's been ceremony in 5 years i mean yeah. it's shit like that you know it yeah. is he's a first ballot hall of famer well let's uh with him doing that let's go to the tampa game cuz then we'll have to talk okay. about tom um what the fuck with that game of one at the end of the half, a half inch from touching his head and it's not a fumble and the game's over at that point in time. <laughs> yes, it is. The game is over. Yeah. But yeah. it's a fumble. Fumble. And then it's 27 to three. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, everybody's, whoa, well, it's down uh, yeah. 28 to three yeah. in a Super Bowl. Yeah. And you're like, well, yeah, whatever. And then shit just starts happening. Oh, yeah. It doesn't fucking happen to the fucking fourth quarter. Like the whole third no. quarter was still Rams. Yep, no chance. No chance. Go throw it on fourth down. Didn't get it. It's over. Fumble. Fumble. Snap it over your head. Of, I, And it just that, almost that when you're trying not to make mistakes. And that's the issue. Mistakes fucking happen. That's the issue. McVay went completely different in that, in that third, that is halfway through the third quarter, in the middle of the fourth quarter. You stopped being you. Play football. Play, go play football. It's Tom fucking Brady. You got to keep scoring. You have to keep scoring. I mean, it's uh, take it back a couple years. That's why the Eagles beat them. They kept scoring. They didn't just hold the ball and try to run out the clock. They kept scoring, and he didn't do that. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, you're beating yourselves right now yeah. because you're being so goddamn conservative. You got to trust. You have Matt Stafford back there. You got to fucking trust him to make the right throws, to to do all the right stuff. I I didn't like the play calling in that in that moment. Yeah, and and, and it's your big yeah, your running back fumbles twice. Yeah, and then your other fumbles on Cooper Cup. Yep. Yeah, and then your center just has a fucking yeah. brain fart. Uh-huh. You just you get the ball back because they went for it on fourth or no, Tampa turned it over. Mm-hmm. And then you snap it over. Basically, they gained yeah. twenty five yards. So the the funny and I was watching it and I thought right before he snaps it, I said, "Oh shit, he's going to snap it." So he sends the dude in motion, and I don't know if he said something, but his guard slaps him on the butt, which means go anytime you can snap it. And I was like, oh, fuck, Stafford's not even looking. And then he snaps it. I'm like, 
if there was some kind of whatever signal call, you know, whatever happened, but the guard slaps the butt, slaps it side. He's like, yeah, anytime you want. It's like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not going to happen. But yeah, they gave him 15 yards on the, yeah. on the fumbled snap. So, you know, and it comes down to it. Comeback happens. Tie ball game. Yep. And then Cooper he- Cup <laughs> open by 30 fucking yards. Yeah. Which, hey, this is a Todd Bowles thing, man. Yes. They're going to bring pressure. Yep. And then it looks like one guy forgot the blitz. Mm-hmm. And, hey, if we're bringing zero, like everybody's got to go. Man. You got to get yeah. to him. Yeah. You didn't have – you had miscommunication all over the place. Yeah. Number two is when you're in that situation, you got about five calls. Everybody should know what those five calls are before you even step foot out there. Yeah. I mean, you got to know like, – that just seems like it's something that's – Done, you know what I mean? Whether it was just miscommunication, whatever. I mean, you have uh, you have all those guys on the back end there that uh, you know not not communicating well with each other, and then you know they the Rams did a good job. They snapped it fast. They were ready to go. They knew what they were running. Yeah. And then Cooper Cup ends up you know being open by thirty yards. Go down, kick a field it's goal. The best receiver on the team. Yeah. I think my favorite. Think about guarding him. I think my favorite part about the whole situation is after they complete the pass. Stafford's linemen are just walking. Yeah. And you see him, and he's like, get your ass down the fucking field. And he's like, move, move. It's like, they had no clue. They're just trotting along, you know. Yeah, like, we got to no. spike this bitch. <laughs> There's only this much time left. <laughs> kind of need to make this happen. Yeah. And at least, hey, the field goal kicker, Gay, gets the winner. Uh-huh. After he shorts one. Yeah. From 45 <laughs> yards yeah. of like, ugh. Oh, the it. That's a little yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Tom's, I can see Tom retiring. I say he retires mainly based off of his podcast that nobody listens to mm-hmm. because it's terrible. Yeah. I can't him. imagine. Like you think the greatest quarterback of all time, you'd want to hear what he has to say on a weekly basis. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. Because it's basically, hey, here's the question that's going to be asked. I'll write out the answers, and then I'll read them off a sheet of paper of like, uh-huh. all right, yeah, well, we're not even having a conversation no. here. But just him talking about, hey, my wife deserves a better husband. My kids mm-hmm. do- deserve a better father. Like, he's never, never, never said, said that. that. And when everybody goes, hey, Tom Brady's done, he's always instantly taken that shit down. Of, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you I know. never said I was done. So <laughs> I, I, and, you know, people, you're going to say, uh, he's not going to want to go out like that. Of how else are you going to go out? Fuck, he has he, no. He's got seven that, Super Bowls. The, he already has the worst loss ever. Yeah, and that's you losing an undefeated season on a uh, guy catching one off his helmet. Yeah, which we can always still debate whether or not Eli was sacked and they should have blown the mm-hmm. the play dead. So yeah. this <laughs> day and age, that play gets blown dead. That 100%. never happens. Um, he has nothing else to prove. He could, he could, they could have not made the fucking playoffs this year, and you could have still retired, bud. <laughs> You're Tom fucking yeah. Brady. Uh, I don't. I think he comes back for another year. See, I don't mainly for the fact of they can't put that team on the field again because they've kicked the can to re-sign those guys on mm-hmm. one year deal. Godwin has an ACL. Yeah. He was on a one year deal. Mm-hmm. It's time for Godwin to get paid. Yeah. Well, if he's going to stay in Tampa Bay, you can't pay him. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. You know, they got, you know, Mike Evans, he's already restructured. You mm-hmm. know, obviously, AB, it's a big deal when they lost him. Yeah. He's the yeah. best receiver on the team. Yeah. Of, you know, Fournette, of, uh, hey, yeah, you got yeah, all yeah. Yeah. these fucking guys that are on one year deals of like your whole roster is getting turned over. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I, maybe he doesn't go to Tampa. I mean, I don't, is he still under contract? He still got one more year left on that thing? Well, it's a two year, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I could see him. I don't know. I can see him coming back, but you make good points because I didn't listen to, I didn't see any of the comments of, you know, well, the I better mean, father, I'm, better dad, better husband, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, I make all the points good. Yeah. That's why I'm the smart one of the group and you're the, the, looks. the cute one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why we do, that's why we do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, man. It, yeah, it I would, think he's done because that bringing the fact of like, you have Ben Roethlisberger, Tom Brady, and then what if Aaron, like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, hey, we just lost like all these Hall of Fame quarterbacks, yeah. but got a whole shit ton of these young ones that look pretty goddamn good. If those three would retire the same year, that's one fuck of a Canton ceremony in five years. Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, nobody else is getting in. Yeah, just these three. <laughs> here's the three locks, yeah. and then there's two guys. Yep. Oh, man. Well, because here's the other one. If those three guys retire this year, 
well, guess who? The the greatest field goal kicker of all time also retired. Yeah. And that clock's going to be on the uh, same of uh-huh. like, huh. Yeah. It's a great, great. Because you got to, I mean. Yeah, he's the all-time ever a leading kicker scorer. Going in, it's, he's the all-time it, NFL leading scorer? Yeah. And yeah. It's, the game's about points. Yeah. <laughs> and has most iconic field goal winning, Super Bowl winning kicks of all time. Yeah, of all time. So of if like three quarterbacks and a kicker go in, it's like, all right, well. Uh, that's it. <laughs> maybe one of these receivers that hadn't been able to get in, get in, but that's it. Yeah, Nobody you're... else gets in. Maybe a veteran committee vote sometime, but mm-hmm. you got to usually be dead for that to happen. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Who knows? I kind of want him to retire. Not that I don't like the guy or anything like that. I hate him. I'm not a Tom Brady hater, but... uh you kind of get tired of hearing about the same fucking people over and over yeah. again. You know what I mean? Well, I think it is, is the fact of, you know, your offense coordinator's leaving. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. A lot of moving pieces on that of like, all right. Yeah. Well. And they said that Arian, Arian said that he would call the plays if left, which left. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much they actually get along. Who? Arians and Tom Brady. Probably not all that well. I mean, they get what, you know, they but get, you don't need to be friends with no, your coach. No, you don't need to be friends Better with your coach. Better if you're not. Probably. It probably is. The uh, the smack on the helmet, though. Man. <laughs> that was odd. <laughs> that was that freaking guy. That was odd. Yeah. Was, he's going to commit a penalty. Yeah, so I had to slap him. I'd hit him. <laughs> yeah, make it better. But what would Woody Hayes yeah. do? And punch a <laughs> guy in the throat. Punch him. Oh, man. But, yeah, that game was just... <sighs> It's just crazy the fact that it is like, ah, oh, well, this is the blowout mm-hmm. game. And then like, nope, nope, didn't score. No, nope, so, they still haven't scored. If you are a believer that the NFL is rigged, I would say that that could be possibly. Oh, I said if, if, if you do. Because if there's a lot of ifs and I'm not a. What are you going to say? Conspiracy theorist. I'm not a conspiracy theorist whatsoever. But if I was, this would be the game that I would use to try to back me up. If it's Tom Brady's last game, the NFL isn't going to want Tom Brady to get blown out. Well, they're also not going to want him to not win. I get like, that. If that was I the get ca- that. You know? I get that part. And that's why I'm not a conspiracy yeah. theorist, because if I was, I he was going to win the game. Yeah. 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 But I, I, I'm not. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. So, I, I mean, he would have won the game if it was. And, uh, yeah, but I, I got that today cause I heard somebody say that today about oh, the NFL. If anything shows you that it's fixed, it's that game is like, well, first of all, it's not, there's too many goddamn people to fix a goddamn game. Yeah. And if you're going to fix a game, it's going to be with an official, uh, they didn't do anything wrong. And if you're saying it's fixed, the people who fix the game is Cooper cup and Matthew Stafford. Yeah. You say, oh yeah. Uh, well, we've never won in this league. So. Let's go ahead and fix this so Tom yeah. Brady doesn't get blown out. <laughs> the fuck out of here yeah. with that shit. It's either that or people who are shitty at gambling and they get, it's like, well, I got a bad beat because uh, it's like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What the fuck is fixed? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. So Bill's Chiefs? Bill's Chiefs. What the fuck kind of a game was that? It was crazy. It was fantastic to watch. I mean, it was awesome. Awesome to watch. But it was like. What is it? Twenty four points after the two minute warning. Mm hmm. That Ma- I mean, Mahomes threw for one hundred and eighty yards after the two minute warning and two touchdowns. Two touchdowns and a field goal. Yep. <laughs> Crazy. Uh Sean McDermott lost him that game. Hundred percent. There, there's number one. You took two timeouts within thirteen seconds. You took two timeouts. After you set up your defense, you wanted to see what they came out in. You didn't change your defense. Okay, here's the... I guess, uh, I mean, the great the game itself was great, but obviously yeah. we're just going to get past to the two-minute warning. Yeah. And, and just talk about that. And even the... You need to get, skip past that of, let's just start when there's 13 seconds left in the game. Yeah. One, if you listen to McDermott, the kicker fucked up. Yes. From what he said. Yeah. His, uh, you know, he talked about execution, meant that was supposed to be a pop-up kick, mm-hmm. and it was not supposed to get to the end zone. Granted, it's cold and windy. Yep. Maybe you're amped up a little bit. You just score. I mean, 
Just fuck yeah. Hey, we're going uh, to the AFC yeah. Championship game. Maybe got a little amped up, uh-huh. juiced it, kicked it in the end zone. Okay. Yeah. Can't have it. I know people like squib kick it. Well, squib kicks are bullshit. You can't do that. That's no. the NFL. Yeah. That shit works in college. Squib kick. Hey, yeah, that guy's going to grab it and kneel on it, and mm-hmm. it costs you a second. Yeah. You got to up kick it because mm-hmm. they catch it at the five yard line. They've at least got it. You know, they're they can't hard. You can hardly down it at the five and yes. then expect to get because it's at least two seconds. And they could have fair caught it and had no time, mm-hmm. but then again, you're at the five. Yes. So that's the fuck up. Then you jump jump out there. You have 13 seconds. I need what 40 yards. Yep. You playing. You are playing post up defense on the fucking sidelines. They have two timeouts. Yes, yeah, I don't get that. What are you doing? I have. I, they why? don't need to get the ball out of bounds. No, I don't know what the hell that pissed me off so bad. You saw everybody play outside technique. All the linebackers playing in the seam or playing on the hash. You left ten yards up the middle of the field twice. Yeah, twice. You're rushing four. Yeah. There's 13 seconds left. You're not getting to the quarterback. No. You should just rush two. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum, you should have been in dime. Mm-hmm. Minimum. Yeah. And you're not playing sideline defense because that doesn't make any goddamn sense. No. If you want to throw an eight-yard out, do it. Have at it. Go ahead. Please. Please throw an eight-yard out. If we're going to get seamed by Kelsey and yeah. Hill twice. Yeah. Uh, I, and that doesn't even get to the fuck up that they did to let them take the lead yeah yeah you blow a coverage on Tyreek Hill and a lot of people are shitting on that cornerback that cornerback was in the proper position yeah that is a bracketed cover with an Mm -hmm. over-the-top safety and that guy is running trail technique he was exactly where he was supposed to be exactly you your your linebacker has to make that tackle and he doesn't because it's fucking Tyreek Hill you're not catching him yeah you're not catching him what to put Yes. Your safety bit on eyeballs and got himself mm-hmm. out of position. Yes. Which is what they were counting on him to do. Yep. Uh, but the 13 seconds thing, they're playing fucking goddamn bracket, you know, picket fence defense, whatever the hell you want to call it on the sidelines with two timeouts. They only need, uh, oh my God, man. What the hell are you doing? I think that, you know, I know it's McDermott and I know Leslie Frazier calls the plays. After the game, I was like, Leslie Frazier just, just fucked his way out of a job. Yeah. He's not getting a head coaching gig now because of that 13 second fuck up. Yeah. And I'm not even saying, I mean, you'd have been better off playing press with over. Yeah. Just get your hands on him, mm-hmm. change, you know. Yeah, make him hold the ball a little bit longer. If even if it's just a set, you're not going to get to him and sack him, mm-hmm. but even if it's just a second, now it's Yep. And then you got to hear the Boy, they did all that in 13 seconds. Fucking Dallas couldn't get a playoff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I I just, yeah. My God, was that stupid. Yeah. I, I I'm, The two timeouts and not changing anything. That's yeah. what bugs me. You took a timeout when they come on the field to see what they lined up in. So in my mind, you lined up in what you thought they were going to come out in. You called the timeout because they came out in something different. But you went right back on the field and stayed the same defense. You called a timeout and didn't make an adjustment. Run your base dime. Yeah. I, You're running a, they're running a defense to not give up a touchdown. Mm-hmm. They weren't trying to. No, they were trying to get in field goal range. They have two timeouts. Because hell, the best thing you could have done was busted covers and let Tyreek Hill run down to the 20 and then fucking tackled him. You might have ran the clock out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, just, um. Now, the greatest part that came from that is uh, Kelsey was mic'd up. Oh, yeah. Did you hear all that? Yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Just to how they talk about it. And you can hear them on the field. Do it, Kels. Do it, Kels. Yep. And then. Yeah, did it. Yeah. They said exactly on the sideline what the fuck they were going to do. And they went out there and did it. Yeah. Kelsey goes, they come out in this. I'm not running that. I'm running this seam. Yeah. He did. And he got fucking 15, 20 yards out of it. Oh, man, that sucks because Josh Allen played fucking amazing. The kid, the the receiver who set the postseason record, it means nothing now. No. He had five fucking touchdowns. Means nothing. Four. Sorry, four. Means nothing now. 202 yards and four touchdowns. Absolutely nothing. People are going to forget about that because you didn't fucking win the game. Yeah. And then I do not want to hear, well, the overtime rules are fucked up. No, make the stop. Make the stop. And here it is again. That's the exact same thing 
that happened to Patrick Mahomes when Tom Brady scored a touchdown in overtime. Yep. Kansas City, after that season, was put yep. up a proposal yep. so both teams get the ball, and the Bills voted it down. Mm -hmm. So go fuck yourself. Yep. You got the best defense in the league. Make them kick a field goal. Yeah. I well, And I, they marched it right now. I mean, no, neither defense was, they were gassed. Yes. Neither team was stopping yeah. either team. Of, yes. The um, make him kick a field goal. Well, the though. best part about it is, and I respect it, is none of them made an excuse. No, none of the Bills players They're made. Beat. But it's not them. It's not them to make an excuse. They're not going to go in there and bitch. No, well, it is and it isn't. That guy made a play, mm -hmm. and you got a guy out there with the green dot on his helmet that could have checked something. Yeah, of like, hey, yeah, we're not, we're not going to guard the sideline because why? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you they got two timeouts, but you're guarding a sideline of like. Well, if we let them throw an eight yard and eight yard and eight yard, and then they can throw one over the middle and call time. I was like, well, yeah, if they're throwing eight yarders, it's four seconds of pop, man. So they're out of time by yeah, the time they get they're getting. trying to get the ball out as quick as possible to their speed. Yeah. You shouldn't have been playing 10 yards off the ball no. anyway. You got to at least bump them. Show it, at the be show it at the beginning. Yeah. Press up at the beginning. As soon as he's in his cadence, you can start taking your drop step. I wouldn't even do that. Just hit him. Just get him offline. Make him go outside. Make them go to the sideline. Yeah. That out pass takes a lot longer than that seam pass does. Yeah. But yeah, I got tired of hearing the, the whole overtime oh, shit too. of like, hey, me too. You yes. know, hey, that you knew the rules before you got there. You should have won it in overtime. Yeah. And My you got the best defense in the league. Number one ranked in mm, every category. Every, yep. uh, make them kick a field goal and you'd have got the ball. Yeah. I, uh, I 100% agree that. They didn't. They they didn't lose because of the overtime rules. No, not whatsoever. You had a chance to win it in regulation. You had a chance to stop them. They marched the ball right down the field in five plays and scored. Now, I do think the overtime rules need changed. Not not based off this. Not game, based off that. Based off regular season, there should not be a fucking tie in. Yeah, the NFL. That, it's pretty important to not have a tie. Yes. Especially no. with the seventeenth game, yes. the way that all came down. Oh yeah, because if you don't have a tie, the Steelers probably don't get in. Yeah, or they do get. They either win or they. You know what I mean? It's somebody else is in there now, and it doesn't come down to a fucking tie with the Chargers and the Raiders at the end of the yeah. goddamn season. Um, it, yeah, the fact that that could be a thing is embarrassing. Hey, you guys can just kneel it thirteen times a piece yeah. and call it. There should be fucking ties. It should not be ties. And that ah, that bugs me. And that's the only thing that I want changed of the overtime rules. Yeah, okay. I, and I'll tell you what, it better not, because I hear a lot of people, well, the college, fuck that. The that's college not even, has... It's not even football. Yeah. The college has, has its issues, too. The only thing cool about the college thing is, one, there's no ties, and two, both teams get a chance. But you should play it like a normal fucking game. Yeah, you can't just be giving the ball out. No. The only time that you give the ball, the only time that it's sudden death should be when the clock runs out. Yeah. Every team should get a chance to go. I, I'm o I'm okay with that until it it's sudden death when the clock runs out in the playoffs. Yes, it is. And in, in the regular season, hey, it's sudden death. And if we don't get it, then we're doing a then you then you can do after the full fifteen minute period is over mm -hmm. in the regular season, you can do something fucking goofy at the end of that if you mm -hmm. want to decide the game. Yeah. Because you can't have them playing more than that in, it, oh, in a regular season. You can't. Yes, you can't and I just, get that. But they're, for fuck's sake, please don't be ties. Yeah. That's the only thing that I want changed of the overtime rule. Yeah. Because if not, just stop them. How many times? I can only think of really two times where the team who gets the ball first marches down and scores a touchdown. Tebow to Demarius Thomas against the Steelers. And, la and last week. And Tom Brady. Did he do that? Against who? Against Kansas know. City. Oh, was it that he? It was the first possession. Yeah, they won the coin toss, got the ball, walked right down, oh, okay. And scored. Okay, and that was my. Uh, yeah, that was the year they played the Eagles. Yes, I remember that. Now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, basically, in the playoffs, the, la the whoever won the coin toss won the game the last ten out of eleven oh, okay. times in the playoffs. Gotcha. So the coin toss pretty important. Yes, the coin toss is important, but how many times was it off the first drive though? Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, well, that was a. I just love that of like. People going, what else could Josh Allen have done for that game? Said, <laughs> could have called fucking heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of shitty on that kickoff. Cause I, yeah. 
Man, but oh that man. Was, I mean, but who knows? Who says the fucking Bills march down and score a touchdown? No, they you probably don't know. do. They probably do. The way they that was going, they probably do. do. But who knows? They could have. They could have fucked up. I mean, the the Gabriel guy, no, the Davis guy, makes that little out cut and cuts back inside. Oh, Ooh. that was so good. That fucking DV just ate his shit. That's <laughs> awesome. That, and who's more happy than that guy? Oh, I know. Because it. <laughs> that is, you are getting ran <laughs> yep. out of Kansas City. Oh, yeah. You may have the death threats. You're going to be up there with, oh, my God. I'm going to tell you what. (sighs) Is it fucking Brittany? Oh, my God. Yeah. Brittany Mahomes and fucking Jackson. Yes. Oh, first of all, annoying as shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like I feel bad for Patrick. Yeah, me too. Because he's going to get all the hate because they keep Uh winning. (laughs) But he seems like a likable guy. Yeah. But his goddamn family. Oh, my God. Is the absolute worst. They are. They win that game. She takes a bottle of champagne and sprays. Well, first of all, it's like fucking 20 degrees out. Yeah. And windy. Uh-huh. And then you take sticky ass champagne and just spray it all over the crowd that doesn't want it sprayed on them. Because mm-hmm, it's cold. And then is upset that people are bitching about it. Yeah. Comes out and says, I wish I could just do with my life whatever I want to do and not have it of like, oh, yeah. you don't want no consequences. Yeah. That is the typical fucking rich ass bitch goddamn comments that people hate people hate that of which she i mean ah hey that guy out there's like you don't have a job you guys been dating since high school yeah you've never had a fucking job no you're a i mean you went to college but yeah. you know hey this guy is gonna mm-hmm. yeah oh, poor fucking uh, guy poor guy i do feel bad for him i mean but i mean there's a lot of bengals fans this week oh yeah because of that i mean yeah. it's like oh Jesus yeah for sure Christ. oh yeah everybody wants to be home to lose because they don't want to fucking deal with his wife and his brother Oh my goodness! It yeah, is, they are the worst. They are. I mean, between it is a fucking toss up. If I had two bullets <laughs> and a gun, and there was fucking Jackson, Brittany, and fucking Russell Wilson standing there, I'd have a dilemma. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Hey, can you guys stand side by side, <laughs> put your heads together? Uh, I hope he's a quarterback of fucking Denver. Oh God, because that's coming too. I think yeah. his time's over too. I think it is. But um. You want to get into this, some of these coaches that have been made yeah. today, and then we'll um, uh, get into the games next week. Yeah. Not a lot more can be said about the Bills debacle. The, I think uh, it's all been said. Brittany's a, yeah. you know, and Jackson, yeah. the worst. <laughs> Douches. So, Russell Wilson, bad also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, we have, we talked about Hackett to, to Denver. Yep. That was done um, this oh, morning sometime. Uh, the one thing we didn't say, uh, Byron Leftwich yeah. to Jacksonville is what's supposed to be happening mm-hmm. now. He is putting his foot down it seems like yeah for a uh, bulky to be fired yes. as a general manager before because yep. he basically you have now urban meyer was a shit show mm-hmm. but bulky has been part of that shit show for 20 years now yeah well no not really well he's been in the organization for that long i believe no he was he with not the, he was with the niners when harbaugh was there was he yeah so 10 years then yeah probably um but you got fans showing up dressed as clowns. I don't know why you want this guy making your personnel decisions. Still. Yeah. And the fact that, hey, there's guys that are still in the playoffs that are like all pros that you had on your team and you drafted. Yeah. And that you went through a stretch where if you're good at football, we need you out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Because that's what happened. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You, oh, man. That is a shit show of an organization. I agree. He needs that guy's got to be done. You've made too many bad decisions to keep your job. And what Leftwich was saying is, it's not like he wants control of it. Mm-hmm. He wants, uh, I think his name's Wilson. Okay. I think he's a player personnel guy, been a head scout or whatever, seven years, also played in the league. Uh huh. Of like, hey, this guy. Uh, Adrian Wilson. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's kind of who uh-huh. Leftwich wants. So, yeah. Which, hey, you, sh- I, I don't like the coach picking the GM either, mm-hmm. of, but, you yeah. know, they haven't made great decisions, but I'm all for. Mm-hmm. I'm all for firm, former players getting in these positions because yeah, they kind of know what it is. Been there, yeah. They, they've been around it, um, and I personally think that that's why the Jaguars are doing second interviews and interviewing new people. I mean, yeah. they, they they flew in Fangio today. They were trying to do they were trying to do a second interview on Hackett. Uh, they were trying to do an interview, I think, on Dan Quinn too, and he didn't he didn't end up going. Well, Dan Quinn came out and said, "I'm not. Yes. I'm staying in Dallas." Yes, which tells you which he brings either, a cup of conversation too. He wanted either Chicago or Denver, or, or yes, or McCarthy is or McCarthy's going to get shit canned. Dan yeah. Quinn's going to be the coach, yeah, to hold that for Sean Payton until it's his turn. Uh huh. Because that's coming too. Yes, but 
I, I like, you know, left which you don't know what he's going to be. No. They didn't want a guy to kind of work with Trevor Lawrence. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Bulky should have been fired. I don't understand how you keep your job doing the shit that you're doing. Yeah. But it's time. <laughs> Not that it's you need it. Hey, after the whole Urban Meyer fuckery. Mm hmm. It's maybe just tear the shit of apart. Get rid of let's, everybody. Just, let's just go. Yeah. I, I think I don't know what kind of head coach left which will be. Um, I think he he's going to be one to relate to the players. Obviously, he was one. Obviously, right. he's young. He's not too far out of it where right. he doesn't understand the situations. And not to mention, he's been basically tutored by Tom Brady for two years. Yeah, kind of helps. I, I, and say what you want about Arians. A lot. I know a lot of people don't like him. I'm not his biggest fan, but the guy's won in the league everywhere. Everywhere he's been. I mean, he took Carson Palmer to two NFC Championship games after two knee surgeries. Yeah. And you know, and and failures in other places where he's been, so the guy can coach, and he's been underneath him, and he has his vote of confidence. So I don't see why you wouldn't give him a shot. Yeah, <coughs> that. Uh, so I I think he'll end up with it, and they'll mm-hmm. probably will part ways with yeah. Bulky just because I can't believe you haven't done that yet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if one of your coaches is if one of the guys you're interviewing is saying, "Yeah, I don't like this guy," it's probably not the only fucking person who feels that way. Yeah, he just may have enough you know balls to say it. I'm not taking this job unless. He's gone because you don't, I mean, you don't, you're a first year head coach. You want fucking players to come play for you. And if that yeah. guy's the reason that they're not, yeah, then he's got to go. Yeah. If you got a dude, which they think you have one, mm-hmm. hey, it's time to build around this because guys are going to want to play with quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what that's the and if rule. Can, number one is you have to have a quarterback. 100%. And it seems like you have one, so yeah. hey, let's do something. You could have, yeah, he could be it. And <laughs> Jacksonville seems like an okay. I mean, other than the bulky guy, it doesn't seem like a bad place to go play. One, no, you're in and Florida, they spend money. Yeah, and they spend money to get people, and and they haven't drafted terrible. No, they haven't drafted terrible at They've all. Actually, drafted very well. Yeah, I mean, over this ten year span or no, whatever, I mean, they've, they've been playing well. other teams with yes. those players. Yes, but, they have. I mean. Um, but yeah, they've drafted well. I, I don't see any issues with that part of it. Um, but you gotta have, you gotta want people to go there. And, and if you don't like the person in charge, people aren't going to come there. Yeah. So then that's what we have. Uh, Chicago hires, uh, Eberflus. Eberflus. Yeah. Which is, it's a weird, you know, it's the defense coordinator for the Colts. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this last week. Yeah. Of if you if you're firing an offensive guru, you're obviously going to hire a defensive coach. Although I I was very strong on Bienemy should yes for that job. Yes, you were. Or if you're not Bienemy Caldwell, mm-hmm. I mean, I young really quarterback. Wanted, I really wanted Caldwell there, but I really they're, did. they're not going to go with an offensive guy because that's who they just fired. Uh huh. Now the Flus dog <laughs> is what we're going to call him. Defense coordinator. He is a you know. Bears already had a good defense. He is very punch the ball out guy. Yeah. They force turnovers. Yes. That's what his defenses are. Yeah. Also weird situation is he it was in Indianapolis hired under Josh McDaniel. Yes. Yes, he, he was. He was hired. Yep. And then the flight turned around. Yeah. And then he was just good enough that he kept the job. Yeah. Frank Wright kept him yeah, there. Yeah. Of like, but that's kind of a weird of you uh-huh. got hired by a guy that was never there the coach coached. there. Yeah. The, um, and I, I know I talked to this off air with Eberflus. One, seems like an odd hire because you didn't, you didn't see it coming. We, I mean, you right. called defense because they just had offense. Um, this, I'll go, I'll, I'll look at it the other side. This is a big loss for the Colts. A, a lot of people, Huge. a lot of people won't realize that. You know, with with a league that is driven based off of DB play and pass rush ability, the Colts didn't have any of that. Their yeah. secondary was very, very n- not good, and they really didn't have a pass rush guy to get after the quarterback. They played solid scheme defense and yeah. got the job done. Um, I think he's going to do okay in Chicago because of what the pieces that they have. I just hope that well, there he had, their defense was they already had the sixth yes. best defense. Mm-hmm. So now, and I know I said this off air as well, if uh, Eberflus has ties with Frank Reich. I mean, obviously they coached together for the yeah. last three years or whatever. Frank Reich and Doug Peterson, good friends. Um, if Peterson does not get a head coaching job, I can see him in Chicago calling the plays for yeah. Eberflus. Yeah, and that that's the one thing is you got to get that hire right. Like yeah. he has got to knock it out of mm-hmm. the park. And a lot of that is, hey, they hired him, and maybe Jim Caldwell will be his offensive coordinator. Yeah. 
Now that could be it too. That'd I don't be, know. That'd be great. That'd I don't know great. why Jim would do that, but I don't either. If he doesn't get hired this round, mm-hmm. but here's the one thing. Leave that. I mean, they they got some players on that defense in yep. Indianapolis, and there's mm-hmm. a guy floating out there without a job named Mike Zimmer. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That could could very well could step make in there. Sense because he doesn't. You know, he's he doesn't need dog pass rushers because no. he's going to get them available. Yeah. So yeah. that that's something to look for. Of that um, might not be a bad. No, it'd be it would make sense because they kind of do his base stuff. Yeah. Now I know he plays a lot of everybody plays a lot of the different. They don't play. Yeah. Your strict four three three four stuff no, anymore. No, they do a lot of unders yes. and a lot of um, you know, and and that's a good replacement for him. And, and you flip on the other side with the Broncos guy, he's got to get that defensive coordinator right too. Yeah, they had top five defense, even though yeah. the record shit, they still finished top five in the league. You got to make that guy right. You can't, I, you cannot hire an up and comer with that defense. I'm no. sorry, you can't. No, that, they're good, but they're not. They don't have that experience to kind of coach themselves yet. You know what I'd do if I was him, and it's going to sound weird because a lot of people shit all over him and stuff. Marvin Lewis. Yeah, it, I mean, someone, I, someone like hey, yes, he's won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. His, de- you know, yeah, people shit on him for Cincinnati. Won a lot of games with Cincinnati, mm-hmm. but he ran some fucking defenses. Yeah, though. It, I mean, I don't know if he's too far out of it to want to come back. I don't know if he likes his role with Arizona yeah, where, State or whatever yeah, he's at. I doubt it. I, I doubt mean, it. He either, was still but, getting paid for yes. Me. <laughs> but the one guy that struck me is um is is Martindale after the after the Ravens just let him go uh he coached he coached in Denver their first he was their linebackers yeah. coach when with the first Super Bowl they went with Peyton against the Seahawks I um, think he's going to Buffalo That's if Leslie Frazier gets a job which he might not but there's a pretty good chance he will though He might I mean who knows uh but that's one guy that or maybe he gets fired <laughs> Yeah he gets fired uh but he's one who's I mean, the Ravens' defense was still pretty fucking good yeah. under him. I think it was just kind of a worn-out welcome. Like he, it's one of those ones where you, he's been expected to already get a head coaching job of uh-huh. like, hey man, we're your times here is kind of over. So Speak, we've been around yeah. too much. Time for you to time for you to go. The speaking of the the Mike Zimmer thing, I him and fucking Baltimore would would make a ton of fucking sense to me. I don't want to see it. No, but god damn it, would that make fucking sense? It would make sense too, because you know. I know every I like Lamar. Yeah. But hey man, he missed half the season. Now yeah. I granted everybody on that team was hurt last year. Yeah, they caught that bug. But yeah. you know, yeah. I really don't want to see that. No, but goddamn Especially <laughs> being a Bengals fan with the offensive line they got, I sure as shit don't want to see but, that. That would be that's a fucking move though. I mean that that's they're they're wanting to win and I I don't know. I feel like that could happen. I, I I really do. Yeah. And then I didn't really, it was kind of under the radar. The Steelers fired Keith Butler. Yeah. Their DC. I didn't, I didn't hear about that till uh, a couple of days after it happened. Well, there's another place. I mean, but they don't have a quarterback. So yeah, it's maybe Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. Uh, man, he but, likes uh, being in the NFL. There's, seems there's like some, you're taking pictures of yeah. being in the NFL, but there's some spots for some defensive coordinators that, you know, that but, they have moves that they can go. I think the charges on Dwayne Haskins' wife got dropped for domestic abuse also. I think I've seen that, <laughs> that good. she beat him up and he dropped charges. So well, Just got that out of there if you want to be a way. Steeler quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Probably end up in Carolina. They take all the quarterbacks. Yeah. How do we expect you to take a hit from a linebacker when you can't take a hit take from a hit your, from your wife? She <laughs> smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, uh, you know, you're going to see tomorrow, I think you're going to see two more hires. Yeah. Um, at least one. I think at least one tomorrow. Well, because Raiders haven't hired a GM yet. So nope. you're, you're not going to hire. Uh, and I'm getting tired of hearing the Harbaugh shit. Yeah. Everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're hearing that if he, you know, if he offered the job, he'd take that Raiders job. It's like, well, at some point in time, you got to interview for yeah. a job. Yeah. So if that doesn't happen. Yeah. And then we just heard. And it. I haven't, you know, I know he's in negotiations. I haven't heard a contract come out yet. Of I like, haven't either. I don't think Michigan's biting on the, we're going to pay you a shit ton of money because yeah. we don't want you to go. Uh-huh. No, if you get yeah. that, hey, if they offer that job, you should definitely take it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, and we just saw today before we uh, went on air of the Raiders just uh, requested an interview with Josh McDaniels for their head coaching ability, a- availability. I think it's time for him to leave New England, too. Yeah, me too. Then you I get, don't think he's any good. Then you get Billy O. Yep, pretty much. That's what's happening. Yeah. Um. 
other I want to save the big one for last, but uh there was another one I wanted to talk about too. Um Oh, the Vikings just hired a GM. Hired the the VP of football operations from the Browns, and I cannot pronounce his name. No, yeah, because uh, it's a weird one. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not even gonna try because I don't want to <laughs> sound disrespectful. You're gonna be racist, yeah, you know? I don't, I don't sound disrespectful <laughs> at all. Uh, but if he was a part of any of the drafts that they've had since John Dorsey was there, it's a good hire. Yeah, been very successful. Very successful. Uh, even the free agency line been very successful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I felt like the 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 Vikings firing the GM was a shock to me because they been, weren't in teardown. I no. mean, they have a good roster. Yeah, they do. And he had been there for fucking 16 yeah. years. Um, but to get a young guy in there who's kind of. The Browns and the Vikings are very similar in what they do, obviously, because of the the hires that have been made, you know, in previous years. So I think that's a very smart move by the Vikings to get somebody who is in the same mindset as them, basically, and as their roster. Now you're just going to go hire a coach. Well, yeah, and you got to do something with the quarterback because he's making $147 million yeah. guaranteed. <laughs> of like, I'll tell you what, Kirk Cousins, man, uh, he has signed some of the best. Yes, he, he has. Is, if he needs to go, you know, when they do the rookie, you know, yes, symposium the, the or whatever, he needs, he needs to be there to speak. Yeah. Hey, here's how you do a contract. <laughs> Fuck that fifth year option shit. Let's just go four years fully guaranteed at <laughs> yep. 35 mil a pop. Yep. And just for Write it out. average play. <laughs> yep. There's one of like, maybe he should trade and get Baker Mayfield over in Minnesota because I, yeah. I think I'd work better with him over it there. Might. It might. Oh, man. The, uh, but yeah, that was the, the Vikings one was the one I, I wanted to mention on there. And then, uh, and now we have the big one. Yeah. The, uh, the Sean Payton stepping down. Um, I, I've read a lot of mixed feelings on this. Um, I think Sean Payne's one hell of a coach. Phenomenal coach. Uh, I hear a lot of shit of, oh, is he overrated? He hasn't done anything, this and that. Like, dude, the guy's fucking awesome. The guy's awesome. I mean, it wasn't too long ago where people were talking about his offense over the Shanahan's and the McVeigh's and all of this well, stuff. Hey, he was the original guru. I think everybody forgets. With all the shit that happened down there, yes. don't have a quarterback. Michael yep. Thomas didn't play a goddamn snap. Mm -hmm. If the Rams don't let the 49ers come back and beat them in that yeah. game, Saints the, the Saints are in the playoffs. Yep. With that roster. Yeah. Yep. Now, I got a feeling of him not knowing who our quarterback is going to be. Yeah. Not going to have one because you got to figure that out. It's not Taysom Hill. And no, I think you're done with James. James. You're going to have to go try to find one. But then again, you don't have any money because mm -hmm. you are $71 million dollars over a salary cap that's going up to up. $205 million. Up. That's how much you are over. That is ridiculous. That is 30% over the cap. That is crazy. 30% over the cap. That's crazy. Now, I don't know whose fault and that is. And you don't is. have all those guys under contract anymore. No. And I don't even know whose fault that is. Well, it's, that's a lot of that's <laughs> Drew Brees and a lot of that's yes. the Michael Thomas deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, kick, you kicked it to the you curb. You kick the can down the road. And it's the same thing like Kansas City. Kansas City is kicking it down the road. Tampa Bay has kicked it down the road. Like you can keep restructuring, mm -hmm. but you got to pay the piper at some point yeah. in time. Yeah. Now here's what I think is going to happen. They're going to hire a coach. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent is going to be Eric Bieniemy. Okay. Because he's from New Orleans. Okay. He's going to get a head coaching job finally, uh -huh. and he's going to get fucked because yeah. <laughs> they're going to have to take the hit. Yep. And when we talk about free agency hitting. Oh my god! It is going to be a superstar if they don't. If they decide not to restructure and kick uh -huh. cans down the road, there are going to be superstars hitting the street out of New Orleans. Yeah, um, and I'm I, I kind of had the opposite look out of it. Not really the opposite. Um, I think they hire within. I think they promote Dennis Allen to the head coaching gig because he's already under contract now. I know they got to give him a head coaching salary job or whatever. Um. But I think they take the hit with a less, I want to say, popular head coach. Do you know? You know what I yeah. mean? Not one that hasn't been in the circuit. In the circuit, one that's already been there. Um, I think that they kick. They just take the hit this year. Yeah, I think they have I, to. I think they At have some to. point in time, you got to hit the reset As, button. Yeah, and I think this is the you, Sean Payton goes. It's time now because you weren't going to do that to him. Yeah, and you don't. And I don't think you're going to want to do that. To well, Eric Bieniemy, who is a popular hire, 
because when it doesn't work out, it's not going to be his fault. Everybody's going to blame you. Yeah. But that's the problem is, is we're well, not going to get a Jim Caldwell. He ain't taking that fucking job. No, that's what I'm you're, saying. You're yeah. not going to get an established guy no. that, that has just been out. Like no, you're going to have to hire an up and comer and then plan on shit canning him four years down the road. And that's why I think it's Dennis Allen. I do. And I, it's, it sucks for that guy. Cause he's actually had to take the goddamn job. He might not. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> He's he's made a an iffy defense way better. Which anybody's going to take the job. I, I mean, I say that, Jess. There's only 32 of these yes. goddamn jobs out there. And people are like, why would you want a coach in Jacksonville? Because it's <laughs> one of 32 of these jobs. Yeah. They don't come along no. all that. Now, granted, there's eight of them every year. Yeah. But that's that was just my thoughts on it. They're going to... Dennis Allen's going to take the hit. And whatever happens, happens. And I think that they... I think they let a lot of guys go this year. It, it's... I now, think it's... Well, a lot of that because you got to take a look too of like Tom Brady retires, maybe it, maybe you take a half a hit and kick the can a little bit because yeah. now all of a sudden that conference has opened up or oh, that division yeah, opened, that opened up. Yeah, big time. It's uh, I don't know. It, it it'll be interesting just before free because it's got to be done before free agency hits. Yeah, well, free agency's in fucking March seventeenth. I, so. I know that, but they're gonna have to hire a coach sometime soon. Do you can you hire a coach with that far of I mean. Well, you I mean, to, you'll get a coach hired. Do you hired. have to make the moves after you after you hire the coach or before you hire the coach? No, I think you just hire the coach of, hey, we, we'll do what we have to do. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, because they don't have to make those decisions until the end of the year, mm-hmm. which they, you technically can't anyways. They're not allowed to cut anybody yet. Yeah. And plus, a lot of them is going to be posted, you know, post June 1st because mm-hmm. they can split the uh, cap hit two ways if they yeah. do it that way. So, But yeah, there's going to be a lot but, of stuff. I mean, studs. you got like, you know, Kamara, Thomas. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Cameron, Lattimore. or Cameron Jordan, Cameron Jordan, Cameron yeah. Jordan. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, uh, Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, three or f- three of the five offensive linemen are, have big contracts. Yeah, um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a big hit. It's, it's going to be a yeah, be a free for all in New Orleans for yeah. that. Uh, and if there's, I think that the first one to go is Cameron Jordan, older, older yeah. defensive guy. Yeah, you know. He's going to get, get more of a rotational look yes, now. Yes, yep. And I, I feel like he's the first one to go. Now, I'm, I don't know if his contract's as big as the other guys, but it's one of them that's up there. Yeah. Um, I think he's probably the first one to go. And then, as sad to say it, I think Marshawn Lattimore's probably the next one to go. 100%. You know. And that's the strength of their team is their yes, defense right yep, now. Yeah. And it's going to get gutted. Yep. Because you you don't, uh, it's sad to say, but you don't want to let a Mike Thomas and an Alvin Kamara go. You let Kamara go because he's he's a running back. And yeah. he's, it's at that time frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Thomas, I'd have to look into it. I don't know what his cap hits are and his, what his structure mm-hmm. is, but that's a tough one to unload. But you're at that year where you thought he might get cut anyway. Yes. After they signed that yes. contract. And he uh, he comes out and says, Sean Payton's a legend. And you thought they hated each other after all the well, shit that went down. that's one thing. When, in Sean Payton's interview. Yeah. Or his press conference, he said, oh, you know, I only got a chance to talk to a couple guys, Michael Thomas, of like. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think a lot of that gets blown out of proportion 100%. because one, they're competitive people. Yeah. Is he pissed yeah. off that he did what he did about, mm-hmm. you know, Michael Thomas pissed off that you guys were saying, yeah, don't have surgery, uh, rehab it. And then when the rehab didn't work and he had to have surgery, now you're pissed off yeah. about that of like, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, it just got blown out of, hey, that's oh, yeah. just shit happens. Yep. And it's whatever. Yeah. I, I, it, yeah. Like you said, at the end of the day, they're all competitors. They just want to go out there and fucking win. And, and you know, it's it's testosterone. <laughs> it's it's being yeah. thrown around. Everybody wants to be the big dog. Um, but it is an interesting situation with all of the money. Yeah. And with the players because they don't have slouches. No. If they have fucking players on their team, yeah. And it, it'll be interesting to see how many they let go or if they kick the can down the road. I mean. Yeah, they're gonna have to take some of the hit. I mean, do you, you cut, just have to? Do you cut Taysom Hill after the contract he signed? <laughs> it's hard to track what the contract is because one, it's like. Fifteen million dollars. It was forty million dollars if he took this many. Stri- yeah. But then one of the contracts he signed, all the years were voidable. Yeah. Which may- basically was you kicked it down the road. That's mm-hmm. part of your cap hit problem with him. Yeah. Well, he's not going to be the quarterback. No. You're not paying him forty million dollars. No. So God damn it, no. It's about time to cut him because mm-hmm. what is he? Nothing. Especially without Sean player. Payton, he is not anybody. No. Special teams player that catches <laughs> some passes. Yeah. You run a reverse with him. Yeah, every once in a while. That's it. That's it. That's who you are. Yeah, and he's not, yeah, <laughs> he's not anything. 
Sorry. I, he, he's a... He's Did you just fl- call him a piece of shit? Did I? Kind of. Oh, sorry. I said he's not anything. Mm. Yeah. You're less than dog shit. <laughs> you're nothing. You're nothing. I nothing you, sir. You're nothing. Piece of fuck. <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. Go ahead. He's going to be upset. Go ahead. Yeah, he's a loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I, without Sean Payton running, calling those plays, I, what do you do with him? Because yeah. he's not a quarterback. He's, he's not a wide receiver. He's not no, a running back. He's, no. uh, yeah, yeah. he's a special teams player that'll end up at he's somewhere a, like New England or something like that. He's a college football wing is what he yeah, is. Yeah, he's mean, a gunner. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, he'll end up there and doing some yeah, weird he, shit. He'll too. end up with somebody. Mm-hmm. He'll he'll get some money out oh, of it. Oh yeah, but, for sure. You know. Yeah, I, I now that my team, like my own personal team, seasons the season's been done for them for a couple weeks now. But all the stuff that you know they hire the coach, the owners probably come in the next couple weeks or whatever. I'm so ready for off season moves now. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. Like, I, yeah, we have the the championship games and the Super Bowl coming up. But for me personally, I'm just like. What moves are you going to fucking make to not make this a shit show? No, they're going to fuck it up. Nah, they're not going to fuck it up. Sure will. No. Got to get a quarterback first. Yeah, yeah, I know that. There aren't any. Yeah. I mean, the ones that everybody thinks they're going to get still attached to other teams. They're not, so. I don't think that they're getting any one of those. No. Like, I don't think I. the one that is the biggest. Mason Rudolph. If he hits the market, you think no, they'll. shut up. <laughs> I'd quit. <laughs> I just quit life. <laughs> I mean, uh, of the big names that are out there, it, the only one that I think is possible is Russell Wilson. Yeah, because I think his time in Seattle over. Too. And I mm-hmm. don't think that. But he might deny. I, you know, he said he would go there. Mm-hmm. But hey, if they hire shit, yeah, you know, an offense coordinator, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna let Russ cook. Yeah, which he's terrible at doing. <laughs> I. That's the one that I think that they that the, if there's a big namer out there. It's him. Yeah. And I think it's either him or it's probably Cousins. Don't think they're in on the Aaron Rodgers sweepstake. I think Deshaun Watson is in staying in Houston. Well, yeah, uh, you still got three weeks till a decision's yeah. made on that because um, you've got that court case. <clears throat> if that court case goes away, then it's heat. open season. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the Texans are going to want too much too much for that. And you're not going to hire a you're not going to hire a, a, a new head coach, a first time head coach, and give away all of his future. I. Yeah, you would. For that one. For that one, maybe. Because he's a guy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And played in the year. Yeah, but he's still a guy. Yeah, he is. I. He's more of a guy than Russell Wilson's a guy. I would agree with that. I I know in my mind that they have to make something splashy because they had 14,000 no-shows at their last home game. That's and, a problem. And it's Denver. I mean, it's a, it's a historical stadium. They never have no-shows. Like, I don't know how often they sell out, but there's always fucking people in the goddamn stands there. Like, it's a very prideful fan yeah. base. And you had 14,000 no-shows against the Chiefs. Yeah. It wasn't against a, a non-divisional team or anything like that. And it wasn't so stupid fucking cold where it didn't make any sense. I, I don't know. It just, you got to do something big, I think. My personal opinion. Yeah. There's not a lot of splashes out no, there. No, there's not. And, that, and that's also part of the issue. And I do not want them to waste their fucking first round draft pick on one of these well, shitty there quarterbacks. Yeah, because there, there I mean. isn't one. There isn't one. The the only hey, one you get Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> He'll win you some games and then get hurt and you end up with you know whoever your backup is, Teddy Two Gloves or yeah. The only one that can I they would, cut him. What's his deal? Free I mean, agent is he? Free agent, they had yeah. a one. Yeah, it was just the end of his contract from the one he signed with the Panthers. Gotcha. Uh yeah, he's he's a free agent. Um, but they have fifty fucking million dollars in cap space, so they have yeah. they have some room to do something. Well, that's the exciting thing being a Bengals fan is we're in the championship game and, you have that and much have money. thirty-eight million dollars yeah. in cap space. That's next awesome. Year. And if you don't spend all and of being it on linemen, successful, <laughs> yes, people exactly. are going to want to come. With you got a guy, then you got a guy on the outside along with two other guys, yep. and then a guy in the running back position. Tend to gonna want to go there and go. Yeah. Hey, I think we can win here. Mm-hmm. Offensive line and, de- and and just more defensive people. I mean, they have they have really good. They have a very very <laughs> under the radar defense. Yeah, the, a lot of the guys on there are. You draft Logan Wilson out of Wyoming. You don't know what the fuck he's gonna be. He's fantastic. Gonna be your leading tackler. Yeah. That's what he. And <laughs> I lead mean, the team in interceptions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesse Bates is a fantastic safety. 
Yeah. You, you get some more cornerback help, uh, you know, consistency. Yeah. Eli. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, some interior guys up front and an offensive lineman. And you got yep. to another. If you can replace, I don't know, three of the four guys on your, or three of the five guys on your offensive line. Yeah. Get some interior help. You, you are, you're in the Super you Bowl damn next year. If they, if they did guard, both guards in the center, you could max pay all of them yep. and it, with just the salary that you have because yep. max pay on those guys are 10 to 12. Mm-hmm. Not a left tackle. Yeah. You know? Yep. And yeah. Oh, man. It, they, they If they could do that, I, I said it earlier a couple weeks ago. If they could have an offensive line there in the Super Bowl next year, 100%. They got it. Next year was their year, anyways. Yes. This yeah. is their year early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Want to get into those games now? Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Start with that one. I assume that's the first game to go anyway. It is. It's the, the other one in California. Yep, it's the three o'clocker. Uh, Bengals in Kansas City. We get a rematch. Is it seven still? I don't know. I, I don't looked. know that there's a hook on that. There could be by now. I'd feel better at seven and a half. Yeah. Because here's my thoughts on the game. Could be a very close game, and it also could be a blowout. Because the Chiefs team that is playing right now is not the Chiefs team they just beat three weeks ago. They're in playoff Chiefs mode. Yeah. The defense is a problem. Now, here's... You got to pressure Patrick Mahomes, obviously, but you can't be stupid pressure. Mm Mm-hmm. But a lot of people don't think about what you have to do to change their offense. Because Kelsey's going to get his catches. That's all... You know, that is what it is. Tyreek Hill. That shit's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But... You have to get enough pressure from Trey Hendrickson. You're outside guys because the only thing that you can do to slow their offense down is to not let Kelsey split out. Yeah. If he's got to go stand up at the end of the line and give it give a chuck to a guy, that's a half a second. Yeah. I uh it is still seven, by the way. Yeah. Um But that that's that's the only way you've seen that happen when they were getting beat earlier. When they got outside pressure and Kelsey had to start coming in to give, he's still going out in patterns, mm-hmm. but he's not out in the slot. He's yep. at the end of the line. He's having to yep. check that that causes a problem. Oh yeah, it, it makes a big, it makes a big difference. And everybody can talk about all of their speed and all of this. Travis Kelsey is the key to their success. Hundred percent is the key to their success. All of it is. He's the smartest player on the field. My, it's my personal opinion. Smartest offensive player that they have. Um. And he's not afraid to just go do it. Yeah. I mean, he's has the reputation of whatever you want to call him, a wild card or anything like that, but he's just going to go where he's open. He's not going to run, you know what I mean? And and I think that's one of the biggest... It, it's awesome with him and Mahomes because Mahomes knows that. Yeah. He knows where he's going to be, even if it's not the play called. Um, But you have to shut him... And you're not going to shut him down, but you have to slow him down, like you yeah. said. One, by basic alignment. You know, make Trey Hendrickson good. Make Sam Hubbard you know, get some one on ones. The the Chiefs offensive line and pass protection isn't the best. No. They're very good at run blocking, even though they don't run the ball very much. They're very good up front in that aspect of it. Um and the other biggest thing for me is you can't allow Mahomes to run around like an idiot. That yeah, because that's where he, you get that's killed. where he makes his plays and he's that's so Ty- fucking good at it. That's where Tyreek Hill comes in. Tyreek Hill yep. only runs three routes. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. they're all tied to how much time yep. Mahomes has. Yep. He's gonna run that that deep post mm-hmm. and then come back. If he's got three seconds, he's going to run away from you. Cause he's so fast. Yep. If Patrick Mahomes has three and a half seconds, yeah, you're done for. They're going to connect on a 60 yard pass. Cause you can't run with yep. Hill that long. If you can get hands on him and keep him contained, uh, you're going to have success. Yeah. And that, and which you got to remember, that's what they did in the second mm-hmm. half. Cause uh, I think Kansas City only scored three points in the second half of that yeah. game. Um, I th- and this is a this is a game to me where Kansas City comes out and runs the ball because of what you just saw last week. <coughs> you saw them come out and just air air it out. The Bengals are going to play that, and it's going to leave you vulnerable for their for their run game. And that's and that's I don't think Andy Reid gets a lot of credit for that. Is he will run the ball when he knows he can run the ball. And I think if there's a weak spot on the Bengals defense, it's that I think. Yeah. And I, I think he's going to take advantage of it more than because he, he. I mean the the Bengals caught fire in that second half on that first game, so running the ball really kind of wasn't the option. They were kind of going back and forth with it. Um, so I think he's going to able he's going to establish the run. 
Well, and that's the thing that you got to see too. Of uh, sorry, I was just looking through some player props, but we good. They're not listed them to where I can get them easily. Yeah. Uh, what the Bengals do on defense is what was getting Kansas City beat earlier in the season mm-hmm. is just doing wild shit that causes turnovers. And Mahomes gets in those funks where he likes to give the ball away. Yep. Now, Joe Burrow does too. He uh-huh. just hasn't for the last four mm-hmm. weeks. But Bengals got to force turnovers. That's the only way they win this game. Yeah. Yep. Because best case scenario for the Bengals is it turns into a shootout, kind of yep. like the last one did. Mm-hmm. And you got That's, the guys to keep up with it. And you got the guys, you got the offense to keep up with it. And then it's just who's going to make a mistake or who has the ball last. Yeah. But it also, they could lose by 20. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a big key of it is if Tyron Matthew plays. I know he was in concussion protocol still. I don't know he'll if he's... practice today. Oh, okay, so he's probably playing. He'll be out. Um, he'll probably get cleared on Friday. Yeah. Um, or on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Friday no, if or he pra- Saturday. If he practices today, today, he'll meet with a neurologist tomorrow, tomorrow. So he'll be cleared tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I think you're going to see the Chiefs defense be a little bit more aggressive this time around, too. I think they're going to have to be. Yeah. Because they're... they're their defensive backfield. Yeah. It's the one thing that they can't, they don't do. The difference with Tennessee can get after you with four guys. Kansas it's, City cannot. No, they have to blitz. They have to blitz. Their best pass rusher is a defensive tackle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you can't, you know, with the receivers the Bengals have, they can't hold up on the back end, yep. which no NFL team can. No. If you don't get pressure on the quarterback, you're mm-hmm. going to get lit up. I don't give a shit if you have four Ramseys back there. Yeah. They're gonna, I mean, they can yes. only cover for so long. Uh-huh. So I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I would say, I don't know what the, I would say Kelsey's going to have over a hundred mm-hmm. in a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Tyreek Hill. I think he's going to have less than five catches. Okay. But he'll have a touchdown of like 50 yards at some point. Okay. Mahomes is going to rush. I don't know what his over-under is on that, but he'll get 30. Okay. And a touchdown right. at some point. Jamar Chase, I, I would say the big, I don't know what the over-under is on T, uh, T. Higgins, Yeah, but I would take the over. Yeah. Because after what happened in the last time they <laughs> yeah, played, I would sure be very again. shocked if Jamar Chase finds very many openings. Mm-hmm. So big game for T. Higgins. Yeah. Tyler Boyd. Yep. That would be my... If I was doing the player props, mm-hmm. I would you're take get a mix, the, mixing anytime touchdown that's score. That's what I'm saying. Kelsey. Yep. Hill. Mm-hmm. And then if, if you needed Uzama. if you needed the juice, yeah. Uzama, Uzama. Anytime touchdown score. Um to me for the Bengals to be able to win the game, obviously the, the biggest one we've talked about it since the playoffs have started is they gotta score touchdowns. This field goal kick and stuff probably is not in the works yeah. for them. Not this week. Um the the next thing is run the fucking football with Joe Mixon. Yeah. And and don't stop on it. Run the fucking football because the guy's good. The guy's really, really good. And enough with the um the horizontal passing game. Throw the ball down the fucking yeah. field. You have the guys to do it. Do it. And then I think Uzama's the key for them. Yeah, last week they had a lot of that horizontal hey, we're throwing for losses here. Yep. Of now I get that because you didn't have you didn't have time to throw the ball. Yeah, so. and I think Uzama is the key. Um, based, not really based off the first game. Uh, I, I go back to the first game against the Bills. Dawson Knox tore their ass up because Sorensen couldn't guard him. Yeah, w- Dawson Knox didn't have a fucking catch this time around because they said he's not beating us. Somebody else is. And, you know, the guy had four touchdown catches. Yeah. So I think Uzama, I don't think that they're going to count on him as much. I think their their focus is elsewhere, and I yeah. think he is good enough to... To beat them, yeah, um, beat their linebackers, beat the safety. That's that's my personal opinion. Let me say four catches, forty eight yards and a touchdown. Zama, yeah, yeah, probably somewhere around that. I think he gets, uh, yeah, at least four catches. Um, I, I think he scores a touchdown in the red zone. Yeah. Um, but I think Joe Mixon needs to have over a hundred yards. Yeah, hundred percent needs because to. I'm the, not making the, that bet. I, th- but. I feel like the only. The only way that you're going to get Jamar Chase open is if they're running the ball, mm-hmm. or else he's just going to be doubled up. And, yep. and yeah, I mean he's still going to get some catches, and he's going to get you because at some point in time they're going to th- swing one out, and somebody's going to miss a tackle, and he's going to get thirty yards. Yep. I mean, yeah, but, yeah. Where are you going? 
I, you know, I'm going to take the Bengals plus the seven. Okay. I'll take the Chiefs minus seven just so we're not the same. Yeah. I think the Bengals can cover. I don't know if they win. I think they can cover. It would be fucking amazing if they won. What's the... <laughs> is it worth taking a flyer? I didn't see what the, uh, what the money not, money line was. Uh, the Bengals are plus 295. Ooh. Why? Well, I think you have to. Yeah. I yeah. mean... Yeah. <laughs> It's the only spot you're going to make any money on uh-huh. it unless you're player propping it and player prop wise. I mean, you can only say the only way you're going to make any money with player props is, is to parlay them together mm-hmm. and you got to take some risk on that. But yeah. Hey, if you put five legs together and only put $10 on it, you win 300 bucks. So mm-hmm. yeah, take the Bengals. All right. I'll take the chiefs with the minus seven. Um, on to the late game. The NFC Championship game, the Niners are plus three and a half um, against the Rams. It's really tough to beat a team seven times in a row. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know everybody talks about it, but the Niners are, they're like, I don't that, know what it is. They're like that fucking mosquito at a goddamn barbecue. They just, they fucking annoy you and they're always hanging around and the the Packers had a chance to put them away with and the f- didn't. and didn't with the if they score on that second drive, I don't think that the I don't think it's a game. Well, it's the same thing at the end of the season. Yeah. They let the Niners hang yep. around, or they wouldn't be in the goddamn playoffs yep. if you'd have done, you know. Yep. Because that that's one that you look at. So if the Niners beat this game, you should have beat them when you had them down in the regular season. Wouldn't uh-huh. have been in the playoffs. They also then you look at that from the Green Bay point of well, we wouldn't have had to play the one team that's literally built to beat us of like. The Niners wreck everything. Yep. I mean, I mean I, Dallas gets beat by anybody. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the Rams, man. Uh, they are... They're fun. They're fun. They do a lot of things well. Um, they do not like physical. And I think that's a problem. Yeah. They don't like playing physical teams. I don't know if Whitworth is playing this week or not. I know he didn't play last week. Um. He better. He, he better. Or, or they got a problem. Yep. Uh, it is a... It, it, the ni- Nobody wants to play the fucking Niners because they're just that old school, mean, tough team. Yeah. And the the Rams are not... I don't. I said it when they played, when the Rams played Tennessee, they, they bullied them. And I feel like that's what the Niners are going to do. The only way that the Rams, um, I think, can you know, get their hopes down is they got to put 24 of them points on them in the first half. Cause obviously 17 wasn't enough. Yeah. That's the, ooh, the Niners. I, I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. Like <laughs> what is it like in games where Jimmy G doesn't throw a touchdown? They they're four and oh, they're win. Is that crazy <laughs> as a quarterback? Travis Kelsey has more touchdown throws in the playoffs than Jimmy G does this year. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. I, the one thing and Trey Lance this. can't do the offense. Imagine that. Yeah, that's yeah. the crazy part. That, we got a guy out here that's not even really playing quarterback, winning games, and yeah, you can't you can't do this? You can't do this at all. We got a wide receiver playing running back <laughs> and a successful and successful with it. at it. Now the one thing, the absolute fuckery mm-hmm. with the Rams of the when the the tickets went on sale of you have yeah. to live in LA County or you can't buy a ticket to this game. Yes. And they geo tagged it of yep. like, Jesus Christ. Did you see basically knowing the fact that they don't have any fans because it's LA and nobody does anything out there. Mm-hmm. The fact that the stadium's going to be full of 49ers fans. Cause now it's hitting the secondary market. Yeah. So obviously well, did you see the there. original price, the walk-in price originally? No. 600 bucks a ticket. Hmm. <laughs> That was the that that came out last uh last last Sunday. I want to say what was it the last one of the times well it must have been the last game because it was a SoFi. I want to think there were points in that game where Matthew Safford had to go to a silent count at home. Yes. And Jimmy G never did. Yep. Of like you're the away team and the home team has to go silent. Uh-huh. I feel like that's like it's a home game but yeah. I don't think it is. No. Wow, it'll be fun. I'm excited for that one. I really am. I, I, I don't know. I really, I really want the Bengals to win, but I just feel like this is 
the Chiefs are going to beat them pretty good. I do. I don't know why I have yeah. that feeling. Um, but I'm excited for that Rams night. And they could be the complete opposite games. It could be a, the 3 o'clock game could be fantastic, and one of the teams could blow each other out in the next game. But yeah. I am excited for that Niners-Rams game. Um, I like Kyle Shanahan, and I like what they do. I just wish that the quarterback meant more because that's what this league is, yeah. and it's not sustainable. That is his only issue. At some point in time in that game, Jimmy G is going to ha- have to have make, to a, make play, a play, and I don't know if he can. Well, I mean, that's, you know, should have won a Super Bowl, but Jimmy G couldn't make a play. Yep. You complete that pass, game's over, you're a Super Bowl champion. And you want to talk about luck with the Bengals, and I did. The Niners are just as getting just as fucking lucky as the rest of them. Cowboys game. Cowboys game should have been over. He throws a pick. The pick against the um, the Packers when he was trying to throw it to Kittle should never have been thrown. No. But he makes what the fuck throws all the time. And that's that might cost him. He might have the worst arm. <laughs> like his arm might have been worse than Drew Brees' arm. <laughs> like he'll throw these. Yes. He'll go out wide to the. <laughs> and throw it out. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, I feel like that was in the air for nine seconds. Yeah. To a point where defenders are running past it. Yeah. And he's getting credit for these wins. That's the craziest yeah. part. Because some reason quarterbacks wins are, get that. Wins are a quarterback stat. Uh-huh. And then when they lose, like in, like Aaron Rodgers yep. of like well, it's his special teams, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you, uh, wins is not a quarterback stat. No, it is not. It's not because they uh, Jimmy G hasn't played that position well enough to get because these wins. Because if it is, then you also get credited with the loss. You want to tell me Josh Allen lost that fucking game? Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what do you think is going to happen in this game? I'm going to go anytime touchdown score Odell Beckham because he has to have a big game. Mm -hmm. He has to have a huge game. Okay. I'm going to go. um, I'm going to take one out on a limb because he hasn't done anything in the playoffs. I'm going to go anytime touchdown with Kittle. I think he's going to be. He's done jack shit. uh, What's Jimmy G done? Well, they've taken him out of the. He's not even part of the offense. No, because he's blocking. blocking. Uh, I'm going to go with him as an anytime touchdown because I think he's going to step up at some point in time. Has to. I'm going to go Debo yeah, with over 100 yards, all-purpose yards. All-purpose, yeah. I don't know if that's a... Is that a... a, is that a you Sometimes is, but it usually they pick one. I feel one. like with him, it would be... Like, be over 50 yards receiving. Yeah. I mean, 100 yards, that's a big number. Mm-hmm. You're saying that he's probably going to rush for 60, so... I think he's, I think they're going to use him as a the rush more because if you can put him in a position where Ramsey isn't on him... Yeah. Then you're you're better. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing; they're winning games without a top fifteen receiver. Yeah. Debo Samuel's not a top fifteen receiver. He may be a top fifteen player. Uh, yeah, he's not. He's, a, not, he's almost not a receiver exactly. anymore. Uh, and y- using a very good tight end in your blocking game. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the. I feel like Kyle Uzcheck is going to get a touchdown too, just because that seems right. The fullback, yeah. just somehow, 100%. he's just going to get one. I, f- I want to take, I don't know what the over-under is on Cooper Cup. I would mm. take the under. I would take the under, too. It, as well as they played Devontae Adams, and that's why I feel like Odell's going to has to have a yeah. big game. You might take Odell Beckham as an anytime touchdown thrower. Yeah, you, you I might. feels like one of those games yep. he's going to throw a pass. Yeah, you might. Um, I'm going to take, uh, I don't know what. I bet you might. On Kittle's touchdown, Debo might throw it to him. <laughs> might. He threw one earlier. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go, and now this isn't a bet, but uh, I don't think, I think Sony Michelle is going to be the Rams feature back this time. I don't know if Should they be. trust, I don't know if they're going to trust Cam Akers with the with the load, at least. Yeah, so, I mean, Sony Michelle in the month of December. Did well. I mean, he's only second behind Jonathan Taylor. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah. And for him to not even have five carries last week yeah you're gonna get his over under it's gonna be mm-hmm. 27 I pick, yes, I pick 35 mm-hmm. he'll be over I, that i'd pick him to do something all right well it's that time then niners sorry <laughs> that's all right i'll go opposite okay. take the rams minus uh, the three and a half yeah i'll take the niners i i like them um just based off what i said with the physicality and the and the toughness take the niners yeah, I'll, I'll pick the Rams, just go opposite, but I, I think it's going to be a Bengals-Niners <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> That'd be fun. Be the Repeat third, it. The third fucking time <laughs> yeah. that happened. And if the Bengals could lead the game the whole goddamn yeah. game and then lose in the last minute like they did the other two times. <laughs> but how funny would that be? Yeah. 
if it ended up Bengals Niners. It'd be fun. It's like Bengals been in the Super Bowl three times and Against only ever the played the fucking Niners. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It should be hey, only three games left, and then we got some bullshit to talk mm, about. I'll yeah. tell you one of the shit that we end up talking about in the summertime as we can repeat again because <laughs> no other sports exist because yeah. who the fuck cares about baseball and NBA basketball might as well fucking yeah. hang himself. Ugh, bad. Well, this guy doesn't want to play here anymore. Yeah. Well, who cares? <laughs> Gives a it's fuck. Like contracts don't exist in yeah. the NBA. I just want to go here Hey, I don't want to play here anymore, uh -huh. even though I, I, I made it to come here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to not wanting to play it. Yeah. Somewhere of Stupid. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's tough to listen to those bitches. I did watch. Uh, I we not talk about that much of. We'll get into some college stuff next week after we break these games down because we'll have some lull time yeah. between. Because obviously there's there's some rumors about the Big Ten wanting to get mm -hmm. away with divisions and yeah. we don't have a shit ton of time to really cover that right now in depth. So we'll handle that maybe on the down week in between the Super Bowl and stuff because we yeah. probably have some more stuff come out though. Yeah. I did finish the Ozark season. You did. I, have first it, half. I haven't. I haven't watched it. Don't tell me. I want to be able to sit down and watch it. I don't want to just be doing something while it's on. Don't say a goddamn word because your face tells me it's awesome. So don't say a word about it. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? It's I, almost been a week. I haven't had time to sit down and watch Bullshit. it. Shit, you don't have much. I mean, Jesus Christ, you have a job, a <laughs> wife, and a kid. What else do you got to do? <laughs> My priorities are not in the right yeah. spot. <laughs> I was, uh... uh I don't, don't say a word. We'll talk later. Uh, it's very... Uh, don't say a word. I want to watch one, it. No, it. The one thing that pisses me off is, hey, just put the whole goddamn yeah. thing out, because who knows when part two's coming uh -huh. out. I assume sometime in June. It may be fucking canceled. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> if I just can't... Well, yeah, somebody might do something yeah. if I can yep. accidentally, you know, say something on Twitter, and they might uh -huh. never release the other part of it. Yeah. I don't know what else happened this week. I didn't shit myself at all, but I almost shit the bed. Oh, I had one of those. Oh, was, uh, man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it was. It was like oh. two o'clock in the morning of a wake up of like, <laughs> oh, what's oh, 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 God. God. Oh, God. I got to go. But to, I, uh, to have the poop cramps and it's almost coming out and having to roll over out of bed. and stand up out of bed. <laughs> and make it's it. almost an Olympic sport okay. without shitting the bed. Yeah, that's one of those ones of like. Yeah, I can make this beeline here of like, but this is carpet in here and that's fucking wood out there. I need so wood. if I head this direction and it happens, it's, <laughs> it's at least okay. fucking wood. <laughs> and splat that on there. But it wasn't. That's good. It wasn't. Good. And I made it. Good for but you. But it was. That's always the weirdest of you get, fucking wake up. Yeah. Poe. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I didn't shit my pants today, but it's just a funny little story here. Um, there's about 10 minutes left in class. And like I've mentioned before on the show, there's only one teacher bathroom that's private, you know? And so I leave the classroom and I turn the corner and somebody's in there and I almost do the grab the handle and shake it, but I hear the toilet flush. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck, you know? <laughs> so I like, I'm like, you know, doing down and backs down this hallway just to, I don't even care if the fucker knows that I'm waiting on him. I need to go. Yeah. And, he's trying to waste time. Yeah, he's trying to waste time while he's like, washing his hands. And my, my boss comes around the corner and he's like, are you skipping class? I'm like, no, I'm not. I, I, I'm not skipping class, I promise. He's like, what are you doing out here? I'm like, I got a shit, okay? <laughs> and he starts losing it. He's like, why don't you just go to the... I'm like, because there's only five minutes left in class now and I'm going to be on the pot still when the bell rings. I don't need every freaking kid coming in there and jiggling the goddamn handle while I'm trying to take a shit. So I'm trying to go to the private bathroom and he's losing it. Finally... The door opens up and uh, somebody else walks out and I just dead fucking sprint to the bathroom. I'm like, see you later. <laughs> so it's like, hey, can we redesign some things? Yes, maybe add, maybe some add something. Give me a lock on something else. Like, geez. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. I don't know. I didn't have anything else funny happen to me this week. No. Besides, you know, almost yeah, shit in the bed at the two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It just ruins your night. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, let me get back to sleep so I can wake up for work in yeah. an hour and a half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like I didn't get a good night's sleep. Because I pooped. I don't even know if I got a good wipe in. <laughs> Find out tomorrow after work. <laughs> I know. Like, the fuck is wrong with these sheets? <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate bar melt. <laughs> uh, that was one, too. I remember now on the baseball story of uh, 
Oh shit, cow! That does the announcing for uh, the Reds on the radio, cowboy. Oh, okay. He t- he talked about being on the road when he's still pitching, <laughs> and he was talking about waking up and freaking out because he didn't know, but he forgot. He fell asleep while he was eating a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Oh shit! And then woke up and the, it, all, all the, the sheets, sheets are you know, brown. It's all, they yeah. were just brown everywhere. And he's like. What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> How the hell do you fall asleep eating a bowl of ice cream? I have no idea. <laughs> Jesus, that's that's something special. Itself. Well, you know, he's an elite athlete. Yeah, and we're fat guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the ice cream is the most him. important thing. Of <laughs> yeah. like, don't let it melt. Guy's not concentrating <laughs> no. at all. No, get that thing done, then go to Son sleep. Of a bitch. Ugh. All right. Well, there's only three games left the NFL season. Then we're off to Sue just making up shit to talk about. Yeah. Um. So to get worse than that is normally yeah, pretty much yeah um yeah we talk about golf and win some money there. oh yeah before the show goes off i have yeah. to mention uh uh shout out to old luke i know we gave you a bunch of shit during football because you were dead last a lot of the times but you won last week buddy so congratulations that's the first time we even mentioned golf <laughs> yep yep congratulations bud you won the golf league proud of you i'm not <laughs> I think half my guys missed the cut. Yeah, so did it mine. is so like I know the salary cap is really yeah, a struggle on it's, golf because it's, it's like well, I only know these guys. Well, uh, they're the most expensive. So I only <laughs> pick one of them. Then I got to just assume this guy's not a fucking piece of shit. Yep, and can hit a golf ball. And mm-hmm. nope, like out of the six guys, I think only two of mine were active for the last <laughs> part of them. <laughs> okay, that is a shit show. Yeah, tough, tough, tough. golf. But you know, we'll be back and. September with football. Or yeah. <laughs> and not be, win there. <laughs> yeah. It is just, it's almost depressing yeah. knowing that like, Hey, should have two great games this week and then two mm-hmm. weeks and a super bowl. And then it's, and then uh, it's looking forward to March. Yeah. For free like, agency. Hey, it's some free agency. <laughs> it's got some draft in uh-huh. here. And then the summer months and then the summer months of nothing. Yeah. <gasps> tough, tough stuff. But Hey, we'll be here to drag you down into the dumps with us. So, <laughs> That's it. Whiteside? <laughs>